Ooh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic, yes, we're going to be watching this back to back guys, um, well, watching these back to back, but we just watched Halloween, and now I want to continue with that path guys, and this is what the theme's going to be this month anyway, it's going to be the scary month, alright guys, um, Maybe every now and then you get some animations and anime thrown in there. But, guys, we're taking a look. I've been wanting to watch this for a very, very long time. Oh, my gosh, I've been waiting to watch this. And now I think is the perfect time, guys. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know who the actors or who the actresses are, what the full story behind it is, but... Let's go straight in there, guys, because I do know that a lot of people have recommended this to me that I know, family, friends, yada, yada, yada. They have told me to watch this and Hellraiser and things like that. So I'm just going to jump straight into this, guys. If you want to watch this in full with me, without cuts, without watermarks, without any ads whatsoever, head over to Patreon, guys. It's the best way to watch it all with us. And support us over on Patreon, guys. Now, let's do it. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. In particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Damn. All right, this is based off true events. Ugh. Well, at least I think so. And lit what we just read. Man, that's crazy. The hell? That was a body. That's another body part. Okay. What the hell is going on here? That's teeth. Oh, yeah. Of a badly decomposed body wired oh, to a large monument. What the the second hell? body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Oil storage units continued to burn out of control at the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas Louisiana border. The attendant was treated for minor wounds at Bentop Hospital and released. Hola. Police in Gary, Indiana have been unable to identify the bodies of a young man and woman. Continuing spot Oh. Oh. oh no. You okay? The condition of retrogradation is contrary or inharmonious to the regular direction of actual movement in the zodiac. Have you been doing those Reader's Digest word power columns again? Jerry, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. Hey man, you believe all that stuff your old lady's hawking me? I don't know. Hmm. I dare say these guys are gonna be the main characters? My granddaddy's buried here. Can we find out if anything happened to him? You go tell him your granddaddy's buried in there. Okay. He'll let you in. Thank you. So I didn't know it, and I didn't know why. Uh, uh, things happen here about, they don't tell about. They say it's, it's just an old man talking. Generally, the crazy <laughs> ones are the ones you should listen to. Yes, they're sure. The man said they could tell if the grave had been dug up. Oh, what's that? What smells? <coughs> oh. That's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. That's where they kill him. They bash him in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's awful. I mean, it starts, and then sometimes it wouldn't kill him. I mean, that that kill mate will be the toughest mate. It would be horrible. Yeah. People shouldn't kill animals for food. Yes. 
Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah, man. Pick him up. He'll asphyxiate out there. What does he look like? <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, he's pick weird up, looking. No. That could be a mistake. Where are you headed, man? Sal, you work at that place? I was at the slaughterhouse. I got an uncle that works at the slaughterhouse. Hey, my, my brother worked there. Hey, man, did you go in that slaughter room or whatever they call it? That gun's no good. I was in there once with my uncle. The old way. With the new way people put out of jobs. You do that? I was the killer. <laughs> Damn. They take the head and they boil it, except for the tongue. They use everything. They don't throw nothing away. They, they use the, the jowls. Well, we can talk about something else. Uh, you'd probably like it if you didn't know what was in it. Oh, Franklin, you're making everybody sick. Oh, all right. Bro, look at his purse. I didn't even realize that. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, what the hell am I watching? Yeah, that was my face just then. I have this knife. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, we heard cameras at the beginning, didn't we? So maybe he's the one digging up the bodies. <laughs> Take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. How close? It it's real close. Well, couldn't you just walk? Uh, I mean... My brother makes it real good. You like it. I think you better push on, man. Don't you, Jerry? <laughs> it it's a nice picture. Hey, you can pay me now. Huh? Two dollars. What the freaking <laughs> hell? Huh? Hey, this is psychotic, man. This is psychotic. Like, wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. Why the hell? Why the hell would you pick up a hitchhiker when you just by like the way they're looking and? acting and stuff like that like ask them a few questions before they get in the car or the van doesn't make sense Franklin, I think that'll be all right. every child is just careful there are moments when we cannot believe that what is happening is really true pinch yourself everybody out Somebody. Would you fill her up, please? I got no gas. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. Maybe not even until tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's an old two-story rock house and it's sitting up on a hill. I think you have to turn on that road back there, but I'm not real sure. Well, now, look, you, you boys don't want to go mess around the old house. You don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. <laughs> oh, my father owns it. And that's your daddy's place, huh? Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? The transport will be by in a little while. You know, we should have asked him if there was another gas station around. Man, it wouldn't hurt to ask, you know? Not even the drink machine's okay, working. Okay, I'll go with hey, you think this place has room service? Hey, I bet that's some of that guy's blood. Look at that. Oh, that's blood on it. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. Man, it, it takes something, though. I mean, just to do that to yourself like he did. God. Well, what? <laughs> Frankly, you're crazier than he was. <laughs> Come on, Sally. We're going out to Grandpa's place. 
Let's go. Looks like he's trying to write something. What? What'd he do? He write something on the van? Petrol station with no petrol. Let me see your knife. Oh, there's so much going on here. It's just like Franklin. If we run out oh. of gas before we get back to that service station, nah, man. Like, you think that guy's just trying to scare us by you know blowing up my picture like that? Be surprised if that meat that they were eating just then was like some freaking armadillo. Is this it here? Bro, it's always scary places, man. Like, you don't know what's in here. This guy's crazy. That's weird. Wonder if that means so. Why does that sausage look like a penis? Here, man, you rush it. Not from that angle. Hey, you don't think that guy'd try and follow us, do you? What for? I got to stay here one time when I was eight years old. Right after my grandmother died. What happened? Nah, they're crazy, man. They're absolute lunatics. All of them. A lot of them. Ooh. Jesus Christ. See? Uh -huh. I have these fascinations for the zebras. Hey! Nah, this place is just terrifying on its own, man. Like... I swear, everyone in these movies have freaking balls, man. Human body? Nah, they are they human human bugs? Nah. Nah, that's a uh Sally What the hell? Sally I bet you it's that guy. That guy's got something to do with this. I bet you any money. We gotta come back by here anyway. I can pick up my guitar and give them a couple more dollars and bring them back some gas. Uh uh. Nah, this ain't right. Something's off here. Hey, come here! Come here, look at this! Blind vehicles. too much I'm just ready for someone someone to die I'm telling you I'm ready I'm waiting for it I'll probably still shit my pants but I'm, I'm ready for it yeah human tooth is it oh He's gonna go Hello? in there, isn't he? He's gonna bloody go in there. Jesus Christ, my brain cells. Hey, Pat, come look at this. Let's go! He's walking in there. Anybody home? My brain cells. <sighs> Hello? Guys, tell me. You're literally in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. And you stumble upon a place like this. And you decide to go in. I need a cup of tea. Oh, honestly, I need a cuppa. My head's about to pop. What's that sound? Yeah. 
What would you run into the house? She's dead now, watch. She's gone. She's my favorite character as well. Unfortunately, she is done. Why would you go into someone Her? else's house? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's human. Yep, that's human. Human, alright. Wow. Oh my god. Bro, this is ballistic. Well, get it out of there. Why are you still sitting there? We're gone. So, you saw what you saw. And you started falling over like your legs are being taken out. And you're like, oh, I can't run for some reason. I've just lost all the ability in my limbs to run. And then when you see someone chasing you, you decide, oh, I'm going to fucking leg it. Yeah, you should have legged it about 20 minutes ago. Oh, he hanged her up on the hook. Oh, there's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, I bet it's about me. He's going to kill you, frankly. I mean, he doesn't even know our names. I gave him your name, Franklin. I told him where you live. I can't find my knife. That knife will do you any good. He likes that knife, remember? When? Listen, I think I'll walk down to the creek before it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Can I go too? Uh, I think you better stay here. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. The next, uh... The next victim. Oh, Franklin, I'm just tired. It's been a long day. You don't think that guy'd try and follow us, do you? Well, I mean, there's no way that he could follow us. I feel sorry for this fella. They don't give a crap. They don't give a crap about him. They honestly don't. Is anybody home? Is anybody here? Yep, you're dead. Sayonara. Quit playing games. Quit goofing on me. Okay, you guys. Oh, it's open as well. Oh, she's been removed. Oh my god! Look at him, he's like, where the hell are you coming from? And people say they want to live out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. They don't have a flashlight or anything. If they're not back in a minute, we've got to go look for them. Guys, do you feel oh, like he, he is leading them? Like, he's leading them to this house? Do you think he's doing that? Because he freaking wants to have them killed? Because how mean they are to him? We ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. Jerry! They'll probably be back in a minute or so. I think we ought to go. You better listen to him. 
Are the keys in the van? Franklin, let me see the flashlight. I'm gonna go look for him. You don't have to go. Nope, not a good idea. Look, I'm gonna honk the horn one more time. Just give me the flashlight. No, no, I'm... Sally, they took the keys. We don't have any keys. Franklin, they took give the me keys that flashlight! No, Sally, we can't go. All right, I'm all gonna right. go look for him. All give right, me all right, I'll go. I'll go with you. I'll go with you, all right? Look, I'll go with you, but I'm gonna hold Never mind, I'll just go without it. Sally! Hold up a bit now. Boy, this is so, so weird when it comes to him. Sally? Sally, wait a minute. Jay! Bro, these movies are like... These movies are awesome. Honestly, these movies are awesome. These two are dead. They're gone. Jay! There's a light. Yeah? Yeah. Looks like a house. Well, come on, push. No, push. Oh, Franklin, this is impossible. Look. Yay! Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, well, that rules out him being involved in it. Oh my god! She doesn't even have the keys. That big boy can run too, can't he? Fast for a big boy, isn't he? Isn't that his house? It is too. She's, she's dead. Boy, this is nuts. You're not going to go back down there, are you? Yep, you're dead. <laughs> so fast, man, it's crazy. She really thinks she's going to get away. Oh my god. That's it. Done and dusted. That would be so terrifying, man, running away from something like this. Jesus Christ, she ran for her life. psychotic here man so is he working with the other guy and 
If that's the case, then that meat, that's human meat. That's, that he's cooking and eating. He's gonna drive him back to him, isn't he? Cost electricity is enough to drive a man out of business. <laughs> I hope you're not too uncomfortable down there. <laughs> we will be there soon. <laughs> this is insane, man. I don't know how many times I've said it. Nuts, insane, crazy, all the synonyms for it. This guy's uh, bouncing up we, and down. We'll be over this in a bit, though. Half wait. <laughs> Come here, you nap haired idiot! No, 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 they didn't see me. They don't know nothing. I told you to stay away oh, from that's that the graveyard. hitchhiker. Huh? That's the hitchhiker. Oh my god, that's the hitchhiker. And that's the house. They're all related. Now, nah, that's the house, isn't it? So he must be the father. That's what child abuse and inbreeding does. But we'll we'll fix you some supper in a few minutes, huh? <laughs> Get us in there. We'll have you something to eat right away. <laughs> Crazy man, what a crazy bloody house, crazy movie. Something about this just makes this movie so special and I just can't put my finger on it. What the actual tits? No way they're all sitting around having supper in front of her. Like nothing happened. So all that meat is actually human meat. You have to like it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, Hush. Yeah, it won't hurt none. <laughs> Grandpa's the best. It won't hurt a bit. Girl, you better freaking get in a vehicle and get the hell out of there. Big boy, you better get in there. Look, he's like, yep. Let's get out of here. Big boy made a run for it. <laughs> Damn. She got, I don't know how she got out of that one. What an ending. What an absolute ending that was. So what I'm tr intrigued about this is if this is based off a true story. Yes, yes. Uh, the, che the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is based on various true stories. The film is based on shocking crimes of post-war America. Huh. So, I, I wonder... See, they say that this is based off true stories, yeah? I wonder how of, of it how much is true. Now that girl got away, I wonder if she's the one that told her story. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not think that she was going to get away. I Honestly, I thought she was gone. I thought she was absolutely gone and it was done and dusted. And I feel sorry for that fella in the wheelchair now because I was, <laughs> I was, I was feeling sorry. And then I was like, oh, maybe he's got something to do. Nah, the poor fella got slaughtered. The poor fella got absolutely slaughtered. All of them did, really. But also, it's like, like, the recklessness of of those young kids was unbelievable. The recklessness was absolutely unbelievable, and I can't believe how how silly they would be by going into all these weird places, weird buildings. They see something weird, and like curiosity kills a cat. It happens in so many movies, like in the like the scary movies that we've been watching. It's been happening nonstop. It's crazy. I I wouldn't. It would never. I will never understand it. I will never understand it why they do that. Never. But for a movie that like I I enjoyed this. The reason why is because Yes, it's gruesome, but also these sorts of things, these sorts of 
situations happen. Now, if you've seen the movie Wolf Creek, which I would love to w- watch with you guys, yeah, I've seen it, and I want you guys to watch it with me, yeah, so don't ever watch it by yourself, watch it with me. It's a based on a true story of what happened in Australia. So events like Wolf Creek actually did happen. There's people out there who are so psychotic that we don't even know. And a lot of inbreeding actually happens around the world. And this is the result of it right there. And I'm telling you right now, that's the result of inbreeding right there. Right there. And abuse and everything. Just horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, what can you say? And then all three of them, all three of them are all good for each other. And for them to keep their their grandfather alive like that and how he was sucking on her blood, I mean, what a story to tell if she survived. What a story to tell. I'm still... I'm still in awe of this because once again guys there wasn't really a lot of settings it was it was all in the same area it was legit all in the same area everything was happening in around about the same area and their fascination to get to this guy's uh, grandparents house that was abandoned it's something else to me it's another fascinating thing because it's like out of all the places they want to go to this abandoned abandoned mansion like house out in the middle of nowhere like stuff that I'm not doing that I'm not doing those sorts of things you're never going to catch me doing those sorts I would I would never do it done it when I was younger so I mean there is crazy people out there and they do crazy things but like I said guys the acting was pretty good the acting was pretty good um, I absolutely loved. I don't even know what his name would be. What would that guy's name be? The one with the chainsaw. What's his name? Leather Leather Face. So his name is actually Leather Face. Okay. His name is Leatherface. I absolutely love that Leatherface costume, especially if you're using it in around about Halloween time, yeah, or trying to like a scary sort of theme party or whatever. I like that 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 mask, the 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 costume, the persona. It's it's terrifying. And that big boy could run like crazy, could he not? With that chainsaw too. And at the end there, him swinging the chainsaw like as if to symbolize like how psychotic and truly sick individually they are. And also too, when she was in that chair and her eyes, her eyes was just like not even fixated in one point. were all over the place. The camera work was sensational. Because the camera work was picking that up too. And just by her eyes, we got a sense of, oh shit, she's in real trouble here. And all of them have their own sinister markings, like sinister laugh, sinister attitude, personas. So I feel like all of them did a magnificent job. Every one of them did a magnificent job. Because they really got you feeling like, if I was in that situation, man, what, like, what would I do? If I was in that situation, I'd be absolutely crapping myself. If I was in that situation, I wouldn't have put myself in that situation to begin with. But if I was in that situation, I'd go out swinging. I don't care. I'd go out swinging. I'd like, I'd, honestly, like, I'd be getting knives. I'd be getting the guy's chainsaw and try to cut him up. I'll be doing anything, bro. Honestly, for, for for survival, it's on. I'd do anything. Absolutely anything. So, there you go, guys. Fantastic film. Fantastic sound effects. I mean, 
that whole house was just littered with bones, human bones, human remains, and the cook. The dad was the cook. I think he's the dad. I don't know. Maybe he's the dad. I don't know. If it's the dad, the cook. He was the cook, and he was making the food with human bodies. To me, that was incredible. I I said it looked like a penis. I was very close. It was human, but there you go, guys. What can I say? What can I say, ladies and gentlemen, other than that's what happens when there's a lot of poor areas as well. And they said it was post-war, so it was... US was struggling at that time, yeah, they were struggling real badly, and they were out in the middle of nowhere, and that's how cannibals and all those sorts of people were come about, and psychotic people, so, guys, I'm going to give this, you know what, I'm going to give this another 8, another 8, ladies and gentlemen, we have back-to-back 8, rated 8 out of 10, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and also Halloween is 8 as well, so, Hopefully you guys enjoyed both of them. Let us know in the comment section if you did. Go check them out in full over on Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. Drop a big thumbs up. Like I said, go support us over on Patreon, guys. You get daily content nonstop. And you get sometimes you even get movies back to back as well. Like literally on the the like back to back right after each other. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Thank you very much. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys. Peace out.